Hey guys, welcome to Boating Tech Talk. I'm Jake, one of the technicians here at POIS. And today we have a question from a fellow boater, Carlos, who is renewing the electrical systems on his 1979 sailboat. And he asks, can the battery charger, solar panel regulator, engine alternator, or even the engine starter be physically connected to the battery pole? Or can I use a bus bar distributor for such connections? Do I need a separate bus bar for the negatives between the unswitched and switched loads? Firstly, connecting everything back to your battery starter post is not recommended. And the reason for that mainly is that the ABYC code states that we can have a maximum of four connections to any given connection on our positive or negative battery systems. If you have a bus bar with four posts, you can have four connections on each of those posts. And the other reason that we wouldn't necessarily want to have all those things connected directly to the battery bank is we still need to fuse. So having a MRBF fuse is a great way to fuse directly at your battery post. But for the most part, we're going to have our main feed coming from the battery post to a distribution point that's unswitched. All of our loads from that unswitched point will be fused. And then from there, we can go to our switch distribution and further circuit protection as our circuits increasingly get smaller and we are running smaller loads. Every time we change wire gauge to be smaller from our main connection point, we need to make sure that we're fusing. And in terms of separate bus bar for negatives between the switched and unswitched, that's not necessary. All negative loads should be connected throughout the boat. So that's for your engine, for your house loads, for a water maker, whatever it might be. They can all have a common connection point throughout the boat. They don't need to be switched on the negative side. Thanks for watching Boating Tech Talk and be sure to check out our YouTube channel for all the other topics that we cover.